Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley-Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. You know I keep my head into the performance side of Harley-Davidson. There's a lot of products out there to help your motorcycle become stronger and horsepower and torque and also last longer. Well, I wanted to share the Harley-Davidson side of the cam plate and oil pump. There are some fantastic billet plates out there by a lot of other manufacturers and Harley-Davidson has stepped up to the plate. Let's start out with the billet. 6061 aluminum man if you compare it to the stock press cast wow what a difference we've got a lot of support here for high performance and redesigned oil passages uh it's just beefier it's great and we're also seeing the advantage of out on the aftermarket people bronze we've got 660 bronze in the pinion and in the cam journal area that helps in lubrication also this large area helps support the cam with a high lift that you're going in and this helps in the resistance of turning of uh, drag from the cast just aluminum and it helps in the lubrication so they've improved adding on to what you have seen in other plates let's go to the oil pump since that's matching up with it here we have the billet oil pump and on the market people have said okay how about the screens that protect well putting a screen in the return from the crankcase and a screen in the area that picks up into the cam area. And Harley Davidson has added a magnet in between these two to catch any possible steel particles that maybe uh, have gone into your motor and protect it before it gets into the oil pump and ruin a fantastically designed oil pump. So you've got the screens, you've got the magnet, you've got a billet oil pump that has increased gears. Now I'm comparing to the 20, 21 and 22 oil pump, the feed gear 9% more. All right, not a whole lot, but it helps in the flow, not pressure at idle and keeping the high performance parts that you have in cam and head work and all that and going. So 9% on that. On the return, 33% more scavenging effect to get the oil out of your motor, back into the oil tank, get it cooled and get it back. So they've improved both of them. I gotta show you, I've got a 17, 18, 19 oil pump right here. Look at the difference they've come, 17, to the high-performance oil pump feed. And you also get the different pattern versus the multiple lobe. You've got the different pattern for getting more volume through the, the bike. And going to the return, same thing. We've got more lobes on the old style versus the lesser to get more volume and more oil flow through it. And you can just barely see the difference in the return but still there is a big advantage another big advantage with this oil pump you can see it physically look at the oil passages in this one and this one here they've made it a, a goal to get the oil through this oil pump as fast as they can to do the job that it needs to be done versus going through all these little passages and through it so i just wanted you to know that harley davidson has stepped up to the plate and created something to support the high performance and torque that they have created with the 131. If you're thinking of building your 128, 107 to a 128 or a 131 from a 114, maybe think about this. Definitely if you are a 17, 18, 19 motor and you're going big time, you need the support, you need the oil pump. Just a little tech tip from Low Country Harley-Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.